everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is just gonna be a quick how I do a uh, base so it's gonna be a 0 to 100 video as I have no makeup on at the moment so I'm just gonna show you how I do it and some new stuff I've been using lately that I really like and yeah so I hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe and like this video so the first thing I'm gonna do is my concealer so I'm gonna use the Revolution um, color base corrector. So I'm going to be using the purple and the pink, kind of these kind of purpley pink ones. And I'm also gonna mix a bit of the bourgeois sculpting into each of them and just rubbing under my eyes just to brighten up my face. And the reason I mix the purple and the pink together is because they're both for brightening. It kind of depends on your skin tone or whatever, but I do like my under eyes to be real bright. And then on my nose, I'm going to add the purple and the green. I get my sponge, so I have the Sosumi sponge here, and I just pat it into the bourgeois and just pat it on. This will just help to illuminate under your eyes. My next step is mixing foundations together to get the right color. So the Revolution Photography Sunlight. I like this because it also gives that bit of a dewiness. And um, I don't even know what color this is. I can't even remember. Oh, it's number 40. 400, so bronze light. So <clears throat> I wouldn't use this on its own and sometimes I use it for contouring. Um, but I prefer I prefer, I like to mix it in with my foundation as well. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Long Lasting in the color 103 True Ivory. And I just get a makeup brush and blend them together. And it also darkens the foundation a little smidge as well. I also tanned my ears, that's why they look a bit orange. I think um, the last two or three weeks I've been trying to make myself extra bronzy just to make up for the fact that we have no summer. Um, I've just come to the conclusion it's not really happening this year. For my highlight, I'm going to use Bourgeois in the colour Ivory. I think this is one of my favourite concealers. This and NARS. Someone said to me the other day, wow, your skin is so um, so smooth. And I think my only tip to make your skin look smooth is to bake, which I'll do now in a moment. Also, the two concealers, so the colour corrector, or else what I do if I'm travelling somewhere and I don't want to bring like my, my big palette, um, I just get a really like the NARS um, concealer that's too light for my skin. I'll use that one um, as like a colour corrector because it just whitens my face and <clears throat> almost gives my face like a blank canvas, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to go back in with this, the Revlon um, Sunlight, and I'm going to use this to contour. Oh, an itchy nose. I hate before you powder you get an itch and you scratch it off. Um, yeah, so then I'm going to go in with a buffing brush. So this is just a real technique. This is called a buffing brush. Really easy. Just here. I don't like to bring my contour too far down my face. If I was trying to be really dramatic, I would then. But I just follow where my natural um, cheekbones are. Just kind of down as far as where I smile. If I wanted to enhance my smile, I would go a little further. Where I think I've got quite a big smile, I never could contour there because otherwise it looks too dramatic. And I'm not, I'm just going to add a little smidge to my forehead and then just a little down my nose. And I like to buff it out with a brush just because I've been finding it sticks better, it looks better. I'm not even sure how to explain it, except for my nose, um, but it kind of buffs out that bit better. And what I do on my jawline is just, when I'm finished buffing and there's hardly any product, I will just add a little smidge. Not too much because I'm not unhappy with my jawline, so I don't really feel like I need to correct it that much. And then just in with the sponge, just pat it all over. 
and I'm going to do my brows next. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip. Um, I'm actually due to get my eyebrows done this week, but I'm delaying it a week because I have somewhere to be. I was doing something the week after and I want them fresher for that. And because I get my eyebrows waxed, um, you shouldn't really get them done too often because it can cause sagging in the long run. That's why having your eyebrows um, threaded is better, but I don't like threading, it hurts too much. <laughs> Next step then is just my eyes. So I'm going in with the Morphe Bronze Gold Palette and I'll just pop up on the screen. Um, no, maybe I'll just show you here, it might be just as easy. So I'm gonna go in with this color and this color to my brow bone just together just to give um my crease that little bit of a shimmer as well just gonna glide it across and what i'm gonna do is kind of wipe off the excess off the brush just onto my hand this palette is aren't really nice i haven't even messed with all the colors just because um i haven't had the time I haven't really needed them, but what I wanted to do, but the neutral colours I have. So just whatever's kind of left on the brush and left on my eyes, I'm just going to brush slightly onto my nose. So I'm going to go in with this colour, I think. I think this colour is quite nice. This is a brush I just got to set off Wish, if I'm honest. So this colour is quite nice, actually. Do a swatch. Oh, really nice. It's got a really nice shimmer. Shimmer to it. I think I swatched them when I first got it because I was really excited to have it and then I haven't needed it for anything. Like I could have used it but I just never did. Um, so I'm going to use this under my eyes just to give it a little bit of a warmer touch. It does kind of go on that bit oranger on your face. Then I'm just going to go in with like a concealer brush. Go in with, you know what, uh, that's all I'm going to use from this palette because I'm going to use something else. So I'm going to mix the purple and the pinky together. I'm just going to add that just to my inner corner and up a little. Don't worry about the blending for now. Ooh, this is something different to what I've planned on doing. So what I'm doing um, is opening my eye. So putting the focus on the inner corner of my eye rather than like the outer corner. I've actually been doing this quite a bit. I think I saw it on Nikita Dragon. She did it with one of her looks and she's just freaking beautiful anyway. But in the Carter Beauty, <clears throat> I can't show the lid uh, because the lid's off it. So what I'm gonna do, Okay, so the first step is I'm going to use this little round brush, it's a Real Techniques contour brush and I'm going to tap a little bit of powder out and what I'm going to do is press it into my skin and then I'm going to bake. So just press it all in and when I get to like here I just brush because if you pat too much powder in then when you go to bake it won't sit right and then I'm going to bake a sponge and just bake ever so slightly. I think the main place I like to bake is my nose because it defines like the highlight I've done on my nose. And just while that's on my face, I'm going to bronze with Hula by Benefit, but then just on the sides of the nose and brush it away. The baking. How everything has blended in seamlessly together and it's the powdering before you bake is the key. So then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Breezy Palette and I've been using just this kind of angled brush. I'll show you now it's quite fluffy. I've been using this for highlighting. So because my eyes are now to be a little bit more dramatic than planned. I'm going to just add this one because it's it's subtle and nice. Subtle for me anyway. 
mascara I'm going to use is Unique. So Unique is um, like a network marketing company and my sister recently joined and I love the mascaras. I'm only going to put one layer on because I'm wearing lashes but with these mascaras if you do it like a few layers like go over a couple of times like I'll show you now with just with just one layer how amazing it is. Um, so before I do my lips I'm going to go do my lashes off camera because the lashes I'm using I only got in the post like yesterday so I have to cut them of course I am I'm gonna cut them and I've never used them before so it'll be exciting to see what they're like I love the brand Via Bella and yeah so I'm gonna quickly do that and then I'll be back to show you the final look so uh, this is the lashes on they're in the style daisy which I've never worn before they're a little bit short for me so I quite like long lashes but I think for like a day style they are perfect they add that extra bit of definition to your eyes give you a little bit of a flutter and Irish gals make them so support and um, so then for my lips I'm going to use new skin which is another networking marketing company and um, power lips in the color maven I absolutely love these it's maven and persistence they're perfect and then I'm going to use it I'm not going to even show you the inside of it because um, I left it in the sun I think it might have melted and then it broke but the Sosumi can't cope lipstick over it but this is quite dark and it's a liquid it's a liquid matte so it dries I'm just going to put it on and then talk so that's it on it's really nice um, I would normally use a Penny's lip liner primer. Um, <laughs> Penny's lip liner. I think it's um a zero six. It's like a purpley pink. It's like more dark purple, but it's got a little bit of pink in it. And I absolutely love it because, and I just um I just can't find it right now. Even though I have like three of them, can't find any of them when I really really want it. But I absolutely love it because I think all the penny sliders, I do not know what's in them, but I mean, I have pretty bright teeth anyway, but they all whiten my teeth. Don't know what it is, but they do. So then I'm gonna use the So Sue Me. I think with any mask lip I use, I always like to add something over it. I must add like two layers of the lipstick because I like it to be nice and pink. But yeah, so that's kind of the end of the tutorial. I'm um, trying to think if there anything that I left out that I wanted to do or say. I don't think so. I think the only thing I'll do is just add a smidgeru more highlighter. So really simple, zero to 100 love. Hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. And um, so my favorite things that out of the video that I've used lately is the Carter Beauty Set and Powder. I'm pretty sure this cost me like five euro and it's so good. As it's so good, like for the price, I mean, really, really, really good. Um, sorry, I heard a weird noise. And the Bia Bella lashes, these are daisy. But I also got La and I got um, Willow. I love La and Willow, they're my favourite. Um, I haven't tried any of the other ones, I don't think. Um, but I have the highlighting palette as well, and it's so good. But um, I love the lashes out of these. And um, supporting anyone Irish is my favourite thing. And then my other favourite thing out of this has to be this palette because. Like, I like other palettes because they have highlighters in them, obviously, they're highlighting palettes. But I just think this one, it just has a few more colours. So if I'm going somewhere, I try to bring this, although I don't have a lid on it. Um, but I do want to get a new one, uh, one with a lid, because it's hard to travel anywhere with that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. And yeah, so I've only been filming for about 20 odd minutes. I did have to stop to change the memory card. Um, no baby hairs. I just stopped for a few minutes, changed the memory card. So I think about 25 minutes filming. So I think this is a good solid base to go off of a really quick eye. Um, I mean, it probably took me 10 minutes to do my lashes, but I freaked out. <laughs> I really stopped filming. Oh my God, I got so angry at myself. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment them below and check me out on all other social medias as well and thank you so much for clicking into this video it means a lot